We're at Blue Marlin Jewelry for Al Morata Wednesday. It's Wednesday, January 20th, and I'm TV 88's Josie Kohler. Joining me is John Irvin. He's with Arca, that's Latin for vessel. And this really is a jewelry line for someone that is into theology, that is into history and artifacts. Yes, thank you, Josie. Um, what I deal with are, are treasure coins and ancient coins and we set them into beautiful jewelry pieces, pendants, rings, earrings, bracelets, you name it. So um, our clientele are usually very educated pirates, I like to say. We're we are surrounded <laughs> by, by ocean. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so I can see why someone is seeking a perfect treasure coin from right. a shipwreck right. and, it's, and it just has such mystery to it. Right. Well, what I want to start off with is the second most famous shipwreck in the world, second only to the Titanic, which is the Atocha, which was found just uh, a few miles off of Key West and they found more than they estimate, they don't quite know, but they estimate close to a billion dollars in treasure. Oh, I did not realize that the dollar amount was that high. It was huge. It was huge. We're talking hundreds of thousands of coins, uh, thousands of emeralds, uh, thousands of pounds of silver bars, gold bars, uh, you name it, it was there. I can't imagine being a scuba diver down there on the bottom of the ocean and having to haul that all back to the right. surface and then what, right, do you, exactly. what do you do? It's a, it's a real life movie. It, it is, it is. So, so this is just one coin set into a pendant with a, a four real uh, cob coin, which is pure silver. And this sat on the bottom of the ocean for 350 years before they found it. Wow. Uh, I know, I know. It comes with a certificate of authenticity and everything that we do is done by hand because we're dealing with an artifact. I, I also wanted to real quick go to one other shipwreck, which was probably one of the most historic shipwrecks in this nation's history. It was coming from Mexico to New Orleans in order to pay the Spanish army, and it was called the El Cazador. Well, it never showed up. And so what happened is because Spain could not pay its troops, they gave the Louisiana Territory, which is a million square miles of, of the current United States of America, to France. And then Napoleon, three years later, sells it to the United States, doubling the size of our country overnight. And all because this shipwreck that went down in 1783 with, and it actually has, can you read the date, Josie? It, yes, it does. It reads 1783. That was a year it went down because these were freshly minted coins from that time period. And so this sat on the bottom of the ocean for under, over 200 years before they found it. And it's, it's amazing to see that the salt water, which corrodes so much jewelry, you know, it, it kept everything intact and you're able to easily read the lettering on there. Well, and, and what happens is the, the, they're, they're in chests, right? A treasure chest. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is the salt water will fuse the outer uh, coins, creating like an egg or a bubble so that the coins inside remain intact and not messed up. So that's how we, we can take a coin that looks like this, hand set it in sterling silver, and it becomes a one-of-a-kind piece. We're here talking to John Irvin. He's with Arca, and he's showcasing uh, all of these ancient artifacts that are on display and are for sale at Blue Marlin Jewelry. He's going to tell you about Greek coins as soon as we come back. And we also have, this is a, this is called a two real, it's spelled R-E-A-L, and you've heard of real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it comes from royal or real estate. Wow. And here is a half real, 
that we can do right yes, here. Yes, I was gonna say I'm dying to try on to this, try this little bangle. And where is this coin from? Which region of the world? This was minted in Mexico City. Oh, okay. There you go. Isn't that just adorable? And was this found on the bottom of the ocean? Yes, floor? that's also the El Cazador, but just a different um, denomination. So we have a two real and this is a half real. And so our money system was originally created from the Spanish system. So this was considered, uh, a half real would be considered a nickel and a two real would be considered a quarter. Well, what I find enticing about this is that it did not corrode in the ocean and this would be something really nice to wear with your swimwear out at the cabana, out boating, and it's going to hold its shiny look. It's, it's gonna keep that appeal. Yes, and it's also a great conversation piece because people see it and say, oh, what is that? And then you can tell them the whole history of how this coin and this shipwreck changed history. I'm TV 80H Josie Kohler, and we're here talking to John Irvin of Arca Jewelry. That is Latin for vessel. And coming up next on the show, he is going to show us a piece that was minted in the Holy Land. Can't wait. Okay. Uh, you were telling me about this before the show, and I really, this blows my mind because not only is it affordable, but it is just such a neat piece of theological history. Well, it is. This is called a widow's mite. It is actually referred to in the Bible by Jesus. And he says, you know, um, a widow walks up and puts two of these types of coins, because this was in circulation 2,000 years ago. This bronze coin was in circulation. And a widow walks up into the church and puts two of these into the coffers of the church. And Jesus says, from everybody, she gave the most because she gave everything she had. Well, this was the type of coin. And so we hand set it in an 18 karat gold frame. And, and the one other thing that I wanted to show, this is real quick, from 400 BC. It was minted in Athens, Greece, and it shows the owl. You see the owl mm -hmm. on there? Well, owl, the owl was the symbol or the familiar for Athena, who was the goddess of wisdom. I don't know if you know, but the owl is thought to be wise. And this is where this whole premise came from. This is really a neat piece to put something um, from that timeline, from that era around your neck and be able to represent a Greek goddess, that is really something spectacular. Thank you, thank you very much. John Irvin, he is with Arca, that is Latin for vessel. I'm here at Blue Marlin Jewelry. I'm TV 80H Josie Kohler, and you're watching Al Murata Wednesday, this Wednesday, January 20th. We hope that you've had as good a time on the show as we have. Keep it right here to Florida Keys Television. There's so much more to showcase on your islands, whether you're here visiting or you work and live here. We're glad you're watching.